what else can I like him not, nor stands it safe with us to let his madness range. Therefore, prepare you. I, your commission, will forthwith dispatch, and he to England shall along with you. The terms of our estate may not endure hazard so near us as to hourly grow out of his lunacies. We will ourselves provide. The most holy and religious spirit is to keep those many, many bodies saved that live, that live and breathe upon your majesty. The single and most peculiar life is bound with all the strength and armor of the mind to keep itself from noyance, but much more that spirit, upon whose wheel depend and rest the lives of many. The cease of majesty dies not alone, but like a gulf draws what's near it with it. Never alone did the king sigh, but with a gentle groan. Arm you, I pray you, to this speedy voyage, for we will fetters put upon the sphere that now goes too free-footed. We will haste us. My lord, he's going to his mother's closet, and I'll be placed, so please you, in the ear. I'll, behind the heiress, I'll convey myself to hear the process. I warrant she'll tax him home, and as you said, and wisely was it said, tis me that some more uh, audience than a mother, since nature makes them partial, should or hear the speech advantage. Thanks, good my lady. My offense is rank. It smells to heaven. It hath the primal, eldest curse upon a brother's murder. Pray can I not, though inclination be as sharp as will, my stronger guilt defeats my strong intent, and like a man to double business bound, I stand in pause where I shall first begin both neglect. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? Where to serves mercy but to confront the visage of offense? And what's in prayer but this twofold force? To be forestalled ere we come to fall or pardoned? being down. Then I'll look up. My fault is past. But, oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me my foul murder. That cannot be. Since I am still possessed of the effects for which I did the murder, my crown, my own ambition, and my queen. May one be pardoned and retain the events. In the corrupted currents of this world, oft to seen, offense's gilded hand may shove by justice. And oft to seen, the wicked prize itself buys out the law. But tis not so above. There is no shuffling. There the action lies in his true nature, and we ourselves compelled, even to the teeth and forehead of our faults, to give in evidence. What then? What rests? Try what repentance can, what can it not? Yet, what can it when one cannot repent? Wretched state. Oh, bosom black as death. Oh, limed soul that struggling to be free art more engaged. Help, angels, make a say. Bow stubborn knees, and heart with strings of steel be soft as sinews of the newborn babe. Oh, maybe. Well, now might I do it, Pat. Now he is praying, and now I'll do it. So he goes to heaven, and so I am revenged. This would be scanned. A villain kills my father, and for that I, his sole son, do the same villain send to heaven. 
This is hire and salary, not revenge. He took my father grossly, full of bread, or all his crimes, broad blown as flush as may, and how was odd it stand, who knows, save heaven. Am I then revenged to take him and the purging of his soul when he is fit and seasoned for passage? No. Up, sword, and know thou a more horrid hit. When he is drunk asleep, or at his rage, or in the incestuous pleasure of his bed, at gaming, swearing, or about some act that has no relish of salvation in then trip him, that his heels kick in heaven, and that his soul may be as damned and black as hell whereto it goes. My mother stays. This physic but prolongs thy sickly days. My words fly up. My thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go.